It was a monster of a weekend as all three of NASCAR's National Series were back in action at the Monster Mile. See what I did there? Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn, this is Rearview Mirror, and you heard me right. All three series, what more could you ask for? It was a weekend jam-packed with racing. Friday, the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series kicked things off, and it was a crazy race in the closing laps. Young gun Noah Gregson took on the wily veteran Johnny Sauter, and the two had one heck of a battle coming down the backstretch when they make contact, leaving no, uh, no chance at the victory as he wrecks and Sauter drives on to the checkered flag. Not the way I, I try and race people. Take full responsibility in, uh, in that right there. That was 100% my fault. Next up, it was the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the final race for 100 Gs in the dash for cash. Once again, fast forward to the closing laps of the race as teammates Justin Allgaier and Elliott Sadler battle for the win. They touch off the final corner. Sadler gets loose. Allgaier slaps the wall but goes on to win and denies Sadler his third straight trip to the bank, bringing the cash money home with the 17. Obviously, we got together coming to the checkered, but I, I expected that. You know, we, he had to do what he had to do. Um, we had to do what we had to do. I mean, it was it was fantastic. It was so much fun today. And now, let's meet this week's Ford Hall of Fans Fan of the Week. Richard Brady, Henry, and Nancy, my family, and big Ford fans. My son that's named after Henry Ford. I've been coming since the mid-'80s. It's pretty fun. I've only been down here about 10 years, but met them down here, and we've been kind of camping next to each other ever since. And having our kids grow up together and spending two uh, weekends a year down here at Dover. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fans. You could win a brand new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience to the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. And speaking of Ford, for Sunday's race, it was pretty much an all Ford Fiesta. Get it? That's a Ford vehicle. Rain threatened for most of the day, but that didn't stop the blue ovals of Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick, Clint Boyer, and Ryan Blaney from powering to the front of the pack. Harvick claimed both stage wins, but late in the running of the final stage, Clint Boyer worked his way to the lead with one hell of a car. But then Mother Nature tried her best to stop a Clint Boyer party. FYI, that doesn't happen. Ever. We've never had a rain shortened race at Dover, and we certainly weren't about to start. So after a quick 40-minute red flag for rain, we got back to racing on an almost green track. Boyer lost the handling of his car and was a sitting duck for Happy Harvick and his freaky fast Ford, who flashed by Clint to claim his fourth victory of the season. Boyer finished second and their other Stuart Haas teammate, Kurt Busch, crossed the line fourth, meaning three of the four SHR cars finished inside the top five. That's the first for that team. Pretty darn cool. That'll do it for this week's episode. Be sure to tune back in next week as we head to Kansas Speedway. Who knows? Maybe luck will be on Clint Boyer's side. Because after all, this is fun again.